Kelly Manzo is this year's Super Football Conference Man of the Year. From 113 players representing every team in the New Jersey Super Conference, to eight finalists, to one young man of the year. Bradley Manso is a wideout and DB for the Memorial Tigers football team, but this recognition is about his character, passion for learning, and what he does off the field. You know, it all started from the beginning, just, you know, volunteering in town in any way, and then the, this, you know, the Super Football Conference and the New York Jets has played a major factor in that. This is my third year being nominated. Each year, you know, I've always found a way to, oh, let me see what else I can do. So to see these kids that do these things that they don't have to do beyond the incredible uh, responsibility that football already has built in, the fact that they do this, they should be celebrated. Bradley works with his town and school board to help with everything from events to fundraisers, but says the most rewarding work is his time spent volunteering as a first responder EMT. At a large uh, multiple floor uh, building, it caught on fire. You had a lot of people affected. And this was right during December, so you're looking into the holiday season. And that was one of those um, you know, events that really uh, um, affected me. Um, not just the particular, you know, it happening, but it was mostly how the whole community was able to come together. I've learned so much from him. He makes me want to be a better coach. This is this day is all about, I mean, all the players that have done everything, but uh, specifically for, for Bradley, uh, again, I'm just incredibly excited and proud. The New York Jets partnered with the conference to host a ceremony for these outstanding student athletes. Finally, were each given their own locker right next to their favorites from Gang Green. And Bradley was given the final honor by another footballer known for his off-the-field contributions, Jets defensive lineman and Walter Payton Man of the Year representative, Solomon Thomas. Understanding how blessed and fortunate I am and understanding how many people um, are not as blessed and fortunate is just every reason to give back and to continue to help others out. I haven't seen many things like this, this many kids with um, being three sport athletes and being able to give back to the community as well. It's, it's truly inspiring and I'm really proud of all of them. In addition to the award, Bradley received a $5,000 scholarship he can put towards college next year. But the Jets and Solomon had one more surprise up their sleeve, tickets to the Super Bowl. He's going to have a great time. You know, it's, it's a, the pinnacle of all sports. And um, going to Vegas, too, that stadium's amazing. So uh, he's going to have an amazing time, and he deserves it. He really does. You know, it's all the hard work tied in together, and it's finally you know, the achievement at the end of the road. So I'm looking forward to this and many other ways that I can keep assisting in different areas of the community. A super recognition for a super kid.